at exactly 10.58 a.m. We're going to remove the ovaries later on. Oh, yeah. Dr. Rafiq Parkar walked into his operating theater at the International Center for Minimal Access Surgery Isthmus in Parkland, Nairobi. The beginning of what would be another fast, not just for Kenya, but the entire African continent. <laughs> An operation that Dr. Rafiq has been training for and practicing in Germany and France for two years, hoping to introduce the technology to Kenya's medical industry. And finally, on his operating table lay a 67-year-old woman, the very first patient not just in Kenya but in Africa, ready to undergo the 3D camera laparoscopic surgery to remove her troublesome uterus and cervix. So I have to remove both the ovaries as well. Since she has postmenopausal bleeding, we are always worried about cancer. A surgery that Dr. Rafiq has never been more prepared for. Laparoscopic surgery is a minimally invasive surgery where surgeons are guided by video cameras to perform operations. Instead of the traditional open surgery where doctors do an incision on the body, here three small cuts, about half a centimeter each, are made on the part of the body where the surgery will be performed and through which tubes are inserted. Both the camera and operating tools are then set in through the tubes. It is the images from the camera inside the patient's body that the surgeon then uses to perform the procedure. If somebody has an open procedure, They'll be in hospital for four, four, four five days. Uh, full recovery, you're looking at about three months. Versus laparoscopic surgery, home the same day, no matter what we do. Uh, recovery within a week, ten days. I think it helps your depth perception, really. And um, when you're seeing things which are so close, and really close that they're almost coming to touch you, you know how it is. It's easier. Assisted by Dr. Kamal Jit Gidi, they are joined by other curious observers who include senior surgeons eager to watch them perform the surgery which till now has remained a preserve of developed countries. But this surgery requires special 3D glasses without which you cannot see the camera image being projected on the screens. My spiral. All enthusiastic to be part of the experience. In. But we have to find ingenious ways for our camera to capture the image being projected. You can see the whole uterus, the whole mass. You can see the blood vessels. You can see the clarity on the 3D. And on the 2D, you look at it, it sort of pales into insignificance when you look at the two. The use of 3D camera is an upgrade from the 2D camera surgery, where the center and other hospitals in the country have been using. Only two other countries in Africa are using the 2D camera, Egypt and South Africa. The technique is largely used for gynecologic, intestinal and gallbladder surgeries. It can also be used for cardiac surgeries and ectopic pregnancies. We have gone very far with respect to laparoscopic surgery in this country. And I, I'm, I'm very confidently saying that I think we are the lead country in, in Africa for laparoscopic surgery. Because the type of cases we are now doing, uh, we are doing even cancer cases, we are doing huge fibroids, Huge, huge you, you try, which, which is not, not being done in the rest of Africa. So within Africa, we are definitely leading in laparoscopic surgery. I have pull out, Sharon. Where's the McCarthy tube? And in just 48 minutes, a surgery that would have gone on for longer than one hour is done. Both the cervix and the uterus are out, much to the delight of the surgeons. It feels great. I'm proud to be Kenyan. Esther Kahumbi, Citizen Weekend.